Yeah, hi there. These comments are for me here, Radia. And uh, let's take a look at your question. You made a question over at the TOEFL IBT Facebook page. It's a group. If anybody uh, out there is interested, they have a great Facebook page. And if you have any questions at all about the TOEFL IBT, you definitely want to join this group. Anyway, me here, you say, what is the type of question asked in the writing test? Is to summarize the points from the reading and the listening part or to oppose the specific points in the reading. Help me out, guys. If I think if I understand your question, you're trying to ask what is the integrated writing task? What are you trying to do? Okay, so the main thing here is nine times out of ten, you will be looking at the reading and also the lecture, and the lecture will be opposing the main points made in the reading passage. Okay, let me give you an example. Let's say the reading passage discusses three main points. Let's call them point one, point two, and point three. In the lecture, you'll have a counterpoint to the first point in the reading. You'll have a counterpoint to the second point made in the reading. You'll have a counterpoint to the third point made in the reading. So you will be basically summarizing, I think, the main points in the reading and the lecture and specifically showing how the lecture is different or somehow opposes the points made in the reading passage. Now let me give you a, a, a possible organizational pattern, me here, is what if you did this? What if you have your introduction, maybe, and in the introduction you mention uh, the main points of the reading and then you show how the lecture disagrees with each of those ideas. So your introduction maybe is about 25 words. Now when you get to your second paragraph you include reading point number one and then listening counterpoint number one. In paragraph three you include reading point number two along with listening counterpoint number two. And then your fourth paragraph, you include the reading count, uh, main point number three along with the listening counterpoint number three. And then maybe in your fifth paragraph, you can have a conclusion. Now, this is not the only way you can organize the integrated writing task, but that's kind of what I call a sequencing. It is a sequencing type organizational pattern. So that would be... Uh, my basic comments on that. So anyway, I hope I've given you some good information here. And by the way, uh, if you're looking for an online TOEFL course, uh, I definitely have a very good online course that will help you improve your overall, not just writing score, but I can help you improve your academic English proficiency by helping you improve your vocabulary, pronunciation, grammar, reading, listening, writing and speaking proficiencies. So I can help you in those seven areas. So if you're interested, you can click on the link and you can go over to my online TOEFL course. If you have any other questions, you can make a question over at my website. All right, sir. Anyway, good luck to you and thank you for your question.